off. We know many of you have plans to fly this season and it is not looking great on the skies for some. Take a look at this. Flight Aware, a website that tracks flights around the world, has already recorded five cancellations at the airport in Charlotte. In Atlanta today, there were 116 canceled flights. United Airlines has 169 canceled flights and Delta has 90. Here in Columbia, the Metropolitan Airport has one cancellation and four delays for today's flights with more with five more canceled over the next two days. News 19's Becky Buds is at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport talking to travelers about their experience. A frustrating start to the holidays for many as flight cancellations and delays impact travelers. The people I talk to who are able to get on a plane say they feel safe traveling this year despite the spike in COVID-19 cases. Well, I'm a little nervous, but I feel fine. I'm fully vaccinated and got my booster. Vaxxed, masked, and boosted. That's how travelers like Mario Cunningham are arriving at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport on Christmas Eve. I feel pretty safe, especially here in South Carolina. With safety measures being taken, others say concerns about the Omicron variant are minimal. I believe people will wear their mask and be vaccinated and keep their distance. For some leaving the airport, it's a Christmas miracle having a stress-free experience. There's no, no cancellation, no change, no delay, so everything is really smooth. Actually, I'm pretty surprised about that. For other travelers like Aaron Wise, it's a different story as he awaits on COVID-19 test results that will decide if he can fly to Canada. Stressed. I mean, you're, you're, you're ner it's nervous. You're nervous the whole time because, I mean, Again, it's not like it's nothing you can really do about it. People going to different cities, but sharing the same emotion about seeing family. Oh, it's it just I'm, I'm it's just super excited. Yeah. I'm super excited. I there's no words. <laughs> According to TSA, Wednesday was the biggest travel day with more than 2 million travelers getting screened at airports nationwide. That number is up from pre-pandemic levels, which were just under 2 million screenings. Reporting in West Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. Well, thank you, Becky. The TSA also is anticipating January 2nd to be one of the busiest days for post COVID holiday travel. To stay safe on your flight, the TSA says you can bring up to 12 ounces of hand sanitizer and individually packaged antibacterial wipes in your carry on. Now this must you have to wear a mask on the airport and on the plane that is required by federal law.